My name's Karen, and I'm really excited to tell you about our new theme for J247. It's called Big Questions for Little People. Have you ever asked any questions? I'm sure you have, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And I'd like you to stand up, get off the sofa, give yourselves a shake. We're going to sing to Jesus. Oh, I don't know. Zoom can be the most infuriating thing. Grandma, are you there? Grandma? Grandma? Are you there, Grandma? Oh, no. Grandma, you're muted. Grandma, I think you're on mute. You have to unmute. Oh, oh, my word. This is just not working. Esmeralda, Esmeralda, have you been fiddling with the Zoom settings again? I'm trying to Zoom with Grandma, and she can't hear me. Oh, I have some serious questions. How can this be? It's not how I thought it would be. How can this be? I have some serious questions. Grandma, is this muted or not muted? Zoom, is you on or off? Ah, you on or off? Off, on, off, on. Okay, it's on. It's on, I think it's on. Hello J247, sorry about the glitch. We appear to be back up and running again just right. Well, keep an eye on that. It seemed like there was something going on there. I could hear someone like they were talking, but I have no idea who it was. Welcome back to J247. We're in a brand new space because look, we've got a brand new theme. We are now doing a topic called Big Questions for Little People. I don't know about you, but we all have times in our lives when we have questions. I read the other day that a child asks on average 300 questions a day. And I thought to myself, because I've got two boys, I thought, do you know what? 
That number's nowhere near big enough. It's way more than 300 questions we get asked today. Anyway, I thought we'd have a look at a Bible story about a question. Now, you're going to know this Bible story already because it's the story of the nativity. And we're going to have a look and see what Mary does when she gets faced with a situation which causes her to question. Let's have a watch on the big screen and see what Mary does. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops! But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey -o. One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, but how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, why? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You ready? Really? Yeah! And took Mary as his wife, while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God, and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. I love those cartoons, they're great, aren't they? In that story, we saw Mary ask a very obvious question. She's just had the craziest news of her life. She's going to give birth to Jesus, the Son of God. She says, how can this happen? I think if you or me were in that situation, we would be just like Mary and say, God, how can this happen? But what's really amazing about this story isn't just that she has the question which we all would have had. It's her response beyond that. Did you hear how the story went on to tell us that Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her? What an amazing response. Mary is like a model for us. We all have questions in life, big and small. And it's important to know that God is not scared of your questions. Did you know the two most common ways that God speaks to us is through the Bible, through his word, and also through using people around us, people that we know and love and trust. Maybe they're our grown-ups, our parents or our grandparents. Maybe they're our school teachers or our teachers at J247. There are people who are put around us and there's the Bible which is in front of us which can help us hear from God. In your groups this morning, let's take a minute can pause the video 
and let's ask some genuine questions about Jesus. Do you have a question that you'd like to know the answer to? We might not be able to answer it today, but we'll start the journey. Off you go. Welcome back everyone, I hope that your groups went well. You have started the journey towards answering that question. You may not have all the answers today and that's not a problem, but you've started the journey. Just like Mary who said, well how's this all going to happen? And they didn't actually find out for at least another nine months, that's when Jesus would have been born after that. And then it would have taken her, let me tell you as a parent, a good couple of years for her to work out what on earth she was doing as a parent. That's no criticism. That's totally normal. We're all like that as parents. You've asked a question. Good. Let's hang around for the answer. You know what? I did a degree a couple of years back and it took me an entire year to answer one question. It was supposed to. I wasn't working slow. It was supposed to. I read books about this question. I listened to lectures about this question. I interviewed mums and dads and children about this question. Our questions are important, and if it's valuable to you, then you must ask the question. Jesus isn't scared of your questions, and you shouldn't be either. But you must have the patience to listen to find the answer. Remember, God's going to speak to you in two main ways. One is through his word, and one is through those that he's put around you. And today, one of the ways he would encourage you through his word is by Mary's response. And the, Mary's response is in Luke 1 verse 38. I am the Lord's servant. May everything you've said about me come true. What a wonderful attitude Mary had. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Even though I don't understand everything that's being asked of me, may everything you've said about me come true. I pray that will be true for you and for me this week. Have a brilliant week and I'll see you next week. Hi, J247. This is Daniela. How are you? I have the memory verse for today and it is in Luke chapter 1, verse 38. I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. Have fun. Bye. J247. Thanks for sending in those pictures. They're amazing. Looks like you had such fun with that topic, I'm in the Lord's Army. In the new topic, Big Questions for Little People, there's a whole load more craft. So why don't you ask your grown-up to get it for you? And when you've done it, do send us a picture if you can. If you send it to children at kingdomfaith.com by Tuesday, then we can get it in the video for next week. Good morning, boys and girls and grown-ups. My name's Andy, and I want to thank you for joining us for J247 this morning. I hope you've all had a great time looking at big questions with us this morning, and we look forward to welcoming you back next week to look at more big questions for little people. And hey, here's a question to leave you with. So we were looking at Mary and how she was told she was going to have a baby 
and me and Claire have been told that we're going to be having a baby today. So, did we have the baby or not? Join me again next week and the rest of the J247 team to see if I have a newborn baby or not. Anyway, have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.